Hello everyone, Andrew here with the market outlook for next week, which is going to be from 10 all the way to 14 October. This is the second week of October. Uh, we just had NFP last week. We're going to go over that. And I do think we're going to have some really good moves this week or potentially for the end of the month. Taking a look at the news for next week, we're going to have a new SD bank holiday on Monday, uh, which is probably going to impact the volatility a little bit in the New York session. And we will also have GDP, uh, GBP, GDP on Wednesday, which is going to give some nice moves on the GPP and also we're going to have PPI and core PPI on uh, USD and on Thursday we're going to have CPI which we're going to bring a lot of volatility and also Friday we're going to have core retails and retail sales. So these news are going to bring some volatility to the USD and we are if we are looking at the USD uh, chart DXI we can see on the four hour time frame how we did have and also the daily we did have a bearish change of character and now we are in the pullback phase on daily so I'm, if i'm just looking at the four hour structure and the one hour structure we have this zone right here where price is currently heading i am expecting uh during uh, the first few days of the week to have a small bearish pullback and then a continuation bullish into these areas where then we could start looking for some sales on dxi or if we are invalidating this zone then price may push all the way to the extreme zone where we will potentially see some downfall on USD. Taking a look at Euro USD really quick, uh, we can um, watch the daily time frame. Actually, let's go on the monthly is currently going down. So first week was a big bullish move and then price reversed. It does look like price wants to go lower. Weekly candle is really interesting for me because it came right into this supply zone right here on the weekly and then had a nice reversal and you can see the week right here how it's forming right now. It's going down. So I do think that potentially Next week, the candle is gonna probably look like something like uh, it's gonna look like something uh, like this. It's gonna wick down and then it's gonna close somewhere here bullish. And then next week, the weekly candle will start pushing to the upside, feeling this week and potentially going higher. So that's my prediction for the next few weeks on EURUSD. That means that looking at the four hour, we do have this zone right here, uh, which is the four hour and also um, the daily one hour demand zone from where price started going up. So I, I am expecting price to potentially push into this area and then maybe give some confirmation for uh, the end of the week or next week to start pushing higher towards the zones. If that area doesn't hold, of course, I'm going to look for buys in the extreme zone because daily structure went bullish. So it is kind of worth it to start trying to take buys. There is a possibility, however, that price may go lower than 0 0.95. But in order for that to happen, then the ECB will need to to do some really big mistakes and not uh, continue with their interest rates and something like that, which I don't think is going to happen. USD interest rates are also potentially going to be another 75 points increase, which will uh, bring down a little bit on inflation. So dollar can have some bearish movement. Looking at the one hour also, NFP did have a big push to the downside uh, from this area where we just, if you are in the Telegram free channel, you know, I've called shorts in this area. Uh, first target was of course the low but then just uh, continue to push for an additional of 25 uh, 250 pips it's kind of weird because um, i did not expect it i expected price to make some bearish movement and then retest you can see i have it marked here this area expecting the price to go there for shorts and then next day i was expecting price to come into this area for more shorts but it didn't happen price just started going down so for next week i am expecting a small reaction from this area right here a small pullback perhaps to this area right here or that area right there it also depends on how monday session opens is if asia session opens bullish then price may continue bullish in london session before shorting maybe tuesday if price does decide to consolidate here then maybe we can see some asia low inducement and price going higher but if you want to see my opinion on monday then don't forget to join the free telegram. I'm going to post some charts there um, before London opens if I see something new. But just looking at the next week, this is what I'm expecting on EURUSD. I'm just expecting price to potentially come into the discount zone on the daily time frame here and maybe giving confirmation to go a little bit higher. But this is my interest areas here. See if this gets respected from some um, short term buys towards these areas right here or even here before potentially having some sellers coming into this area and maybe feeling some of this imbalance right there on CPI news and everything like that. 
um, because we're going to have some volatility towards the end of the week. So I think it's going to be a good week for trading. You just need to wait for good setups, buys here and basically sellers here uh, with the sessions and every confirmation that and every confirmation that you know to take your trade. Uh, looking at GPP USD uh, is basically the same scenario, but daily time frame looks like it's going to pull back all the way here. We did have this huge week to the downside, which may be filled. A lot of experts are saying and I'm saying experts because you can't really trust uh, these sources, but they are saying that GPP USD may come below the 1.0 level this year. I, I don't think that's uh, that's gonna happen. I do think price may rebound towards the end of the year because usually all assets do that. So we came into the four hour zone right here just before the daily change of character. Uh, we did have a nice reaction. And again, I will be looking for some potential buys on London session on Monday uh, if I do see some bullish prices. So if I see price making a change of character right here on the one hour, I may wait for this low to be uh, either taken and then having confirmation to go up or just re being respected and having the confirmation but that's probably going to happen in london session and near session is probably not going to have that much volatility if asia session same thing decides to take out the high then i will be looking for london buys if asia station just consolidates here then i will be looking for this low to be taken and then a potential buy if this area gets broken then price will probably retest and continue to, um, to this area so it's pretty basic uh, also the structure is not yet bullish on the four hour you can see how it's trending bearish but we are in a zone of interest we also have a big imbalance here so that's why i'm saying price breaks down it should retest and then Feel this imbalance and come into this area. It's pretty, it's pretty basic, it's pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna have some nice opportunities. Uh, for gold, I am expecting price to continue going bearish to feel this big four hour imbalance right here and come into the daily uh, zone right here, which is the flip zone. And we also have the extreme zone on daily. Gold, I think, is gonna start pushing bullish perhaps from next month and we're gonna have a bullish end of the year. I think we're gonna go back over maybe 1800s for sure trading there until the end of the year because gold usually always goes bullish in December and January just looking at the historical data so for that I will be waiting for price to come into this imbalance because I'm sure it will I do think price will have a small reaction in this area maybe Monday or Tuesday push into um, the areas are here or maybe even this area before continuing short to fill this imbalance and then maybe give confirmation to go higher so it all depends on how monday plays out uh for now price is still bearish i think it's gonna go down to fill this week maybe even lower before having a potential uh, retracement and pullback where you can potentially catch some buys it's the same thing for all the pairs even uh, gu same thing it's just gonna we did feel the week on gu and also eu but i do think price is gonna continue bearish and then maybe have a pullback uh, my priority is gonna be to watch EURUSD for some buys um, if we do see what I uh, what I said the two scenarios if price does decide to and I think it's gonna take this week out it's gonna go lower but I do want to see the reaction also in this supply on the 50 minute because we gave a nice reaction so if I see some confirmation here I can also potentially take that sell but always look at the uh, higher time frames always look at the daily four hour and see what the higher time frame narrative is in this case the higher time frame narrative is uh, the supply zone on the daily was respected price started going down we are in this basically uh, demand area on the daily which on the daily is not really valid but on the four hour it is valid right there it is the extreme and we also have the area down there so it all depends on how price play, uh, plays out uh, we are also in the market to just take scalps quick one to five trades you just need to have that image of what price we're gonna do for the week and then just execute best based on it but if you want to see daily updates don't forget to join the free telegram group i'm gonna post charts there probably daily uh, and uh, maybe a uh, video outlook once in a while just to explain if i see something really good but for me uh sales here are really good and also buys if we do see confirmation during london session for a quick trade right there so it ju just matters uh, on the timing and also on the pricing. But EURUSD certainly looks interesting and I'm going to wait for that. For a crypto update, crypto is just uh, the same as last week. Daily time frame is just respecting that area. Consolidating, I think we're going to consolidate up a little bit before having another bearish move. Of course, same exact thing on Ethereum. This zone is still being respected and price 
could potentially go down. If uh, crypto goes down, that means that uh, dollar is probably going to start going up again. So that means euro, GU and gold will have that uh, down movement from where then we can have uh, some nice buys in this area. I really hope price comes back into this area for some buys or even lower for again some buys. Another small tip for you guys is just focus on the two sessions every single day. Only focus on London session and New York session. If you focus on those two sessions, you're going to see you'll have one trade every single day, one good trade. Just wait for the session to open watch where you are priced in if price came uh, let's say let's give you an example on nfp trade that i took this buyer here just let's look at this uh, one in your session so you see how nfp just dropped price into this extreme zone right there which did have liquidity you see the liquidity here this week right here which was on the five minute price came right into it and now you can look at the one minute. A mistake that a lot of people make, especially people who just started out trading smart money concepts, is they look for counter trend trades all the time. So they look for buys here, yeah, they look for buys here, they look for buys here. After this huge week, they, we, they will look for buys there, buys here, buys here, and so on, without having any proper confirmation. If you wanna take a counter trend trade, just wait for price to come into a higher time frame zone and then wait for a session to start because that's when you will maybe have a potential pullback or reversal because volatility will come in. So let's take a look here on the one minute and you can look on the one minute. You can look on the one minute and see what happens. So here, uh, this was an anticipation order flow trade because we made equal highs and this was a second trade. That was really nice, one to five. Uh, and then price came into this area, gave a nice reaction and we made a break of structure. So this um, supply area didn't hold price made a break of structure consolidated here a little bit and you can see the pullback see the impulse and then you see the pullback slowly while you see the pullback there is no real confirmation for buys so what you want to see is price return to the extreme zone which in this case was this week uh, which was on the seconds at the end where price came in and then just look there if you are trending on the one minute uh, this example isn't really valid because there were no confirmations on the one minute. The confirmation would have been after this one minute charge, uh, which did happen, but then price didn't go up. So it was a seconds confirmation, but uh, I guess you could have traded here after price came, took the low and then took the high and then came back in. But these were some uh, nice quick trades that I do teach in my mentorship where price just uh, if you use the five seconds, pretty, pretty easy to trade. And then uh, price came into that area and I did have another sell, which I'm going to show you. The reason I'm showing you these trades is because you need to learn when to, you need to trade when there is volatility and also when there's a session going on, because that's when you're going to have the big moves. If you try catching trades, especially counter trend trades during uh, when there is no session playing, like after after London Open or after New York session, uh, you're probably not gonna have that that good of a trade. So the reason for my trade here was really simple. I was just watching the five minute price came into the 15 minute supply, gave it a nice reaction, and then price did have a very short right here on the five minute. You can see it. So now that my structure was uh, aligned bearish again, I can just start looking for a continuation. This was my flip zone. Go down one minute, uh, one minute a week there. And now I'm just waiting for price to pull back into my area and then give a change of character so I can potentially take a sale. Here is where price touched the zone and then it gave a really nice reaction. This was my entry. The reason he was there is because price didn't touch here, but it did break this low. So you can see how it broke structure. So it made breaks of structure. Uh, no, my entry was here actually. It was six six five something like that so uh, i waited to come into the flip zone we build liquidity right here equal highs but the reason i was showing you this trade is because we didn't have any confirmation so price was breaking structure to the downside but it didn't have any valid change of character so price was not really sure it was just building liquidity this is the point where price took the high really clean and then made the change of character right here you see took the low and then price retested and that was a five second entry using a bigger stop loss 3.6 and just aiming for a one to five in this case because i could have targeted the low uh, as it is pro trend and this is another tip when trading news especially news always have a big impact and then they have a pullback phase and then a continuation and then the next day comes in and usually have a reaction and then another continuation so that's why i'm saying i'm expecting this low to probably be taken out and this was a really clean trade which i just took it to a one to five closing the day as it was way over my trading schedule but going break even and just waiting for the trade to pay out is also really nice so trading is not is not easy but it is simple it is simple because once you have some rules once you understand how price reacts when to trade how to trade and what to target trading really becomes really easy you can have trades like this all the time especially if you are pro trend they're really easy to catch 
and then just wait for the higher time frames to dictate where price is moving and potentially catching a pullback or a continuation from the higher time frame zones that's about it for this outlook i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to subscribe and like this video join the free telegram group as i'm posting charts there and you can potentially take some nice trades thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend